I've decided to give Stellar Blade a break because I doubt that Raven is the last challenge in front of us. And we're going to play some Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. We're a bit overdue for it. I have done quite a bit offline in the Cosmo Canyon region. As usual, I've cleared up everything except the side quests, the last hidden fiend, and the proto-relic stuff. Because the proto-relic stuff is usually a story of some kind. Um, so we're standing pretty close to the... Uh, to the last fiend until now um it was kind of annoying to figure my way around this place not quite as bad as Gangaga, but pretty close careful cloud you have just entered jabberwock territory unfortunately we know very little about this enigmatic fiend at present i'm probably going to kill you though He's a big boy. You're going down. Uh oh. Uh, let's see. Ba -ba -da -ba. Inflicting enough damage or exploiting its element elemental weakness while Gorgon Shield is active will both pressure the beast and remove the shield. Okay, so I need to hit him with fire while the shield is up. Hopefully I'll recognize what that looks like. Ooh, Aerith just ate that! May shut up! Or my! I'm waiting for it to put up the shield. I'm just gonna hit it now. There's a shield. I wasn't sure if it was going to swing its head another time. not even difficult. He got some trick heading up his sleeve. Have some Gorgonzola. No shield. no shield for you. Oh, shake the heavens doesn't sound good. I haven't gotten to see Bahamut on the field yet. You're up. Oh, dang. Awesome. Shockwaves on impact, unleash a combo attack. Both take two ATV. Ooh, okay. He does have a little trick. Oh, awesome! That was very effective. Excellent work out there, Cloud. 
cloud? The study don't of care. Such don't <sighs> care. All you ever care about is don't your heart. <laughs> you rest assured that I always keep. I can tell at a glance if you have suffered any injuries. In That's fact, creepy. Cloud, I guarantee that I know more about your physical condition than you do. That's a considerably rare material, Cloud. I suspect it will prove useful in crafting new creations. I suggest you hold on to it. Well, I sure can't make anything with it, and I can't sell it, so... Not much choice in that. Alright, so there's that. Let's head back to... Let's go to a rest stop for a second and take a breather there. is I'm not certain I can get to that directly from here I think I need to get up there yeah they're always like oh but figuring out how to get there is part of the fun in these regions it's like yeah sure for some people I just find it annoying all right I'm pretty sure that green glowing door is the proto relic I'm not going to explode. Yeah, uh, there's the explosive I was waiting for. To get up there. I didn't even want to go close before because I didn't know if it was going to trigger a cutscene or something. These ruins are closely connected with the life stream, and it's thought that they were created to help guide it through the veil. I have complete faith your efforts will greatly aid our planet. Hmm. We will wait. <laughs> yes, Yuffie. Oh, here we go. No need to be shy, come now. Yuffie's gonna take you home. Oh, this thing looks cool. Um, am I so okay? Is she just gonna repeat herself this whole time while I do this? Evidently. gonna get old real fast my precious material where are you no need to be shy come out you feel gonna take you home uh. 
I'm gonna repeat it over and over again. What am I supposed to do? I can't. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I, I found that. You must enter it through the... What? I'm... Uh huh? What is this? How to activate? Use the gliders. You must enter through the north. What? Uh, what? All right. I am entering through the north. Phenomenon Intel 1. Yeah. What's up, Ro what's up, a Abby? How you doing? Oh, there she goes again. Yuffie's gonna take you home. I don't... There's no place here for me to get that kind of height and make it there. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this one's a little higher up. Let's try that. So that doesn't that won't get me in. Where else can I jump from? Uh expedition intel no. All the drifts are like Yeah, this isn't going to work. Okay. Okay, let's try this thing and see if I can get enough height with it. Oh crap, I'm gonna need to make a new approach. I'm gonna come in under it. Let's try that again. I am speed. Whoop, 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 whoop. A little too much speed. All right. I don't normally watch football like that. Although I did get to watch a little bit of uh, Bulgaria versus Romania last weekend. That was fun. Dang it. So how do I make that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Let's try something else. I'm gonna head up there. High jump point. Okay, so I can land here. 
that's just a landing spot, not a takeout point. Um, what else can I do from here? Hold on, we'll do. Easy. Ah, uh, they're my little chocobos. You mean just drop down it from above? Yeah, I saw that too. That's what I've been trying to use. But I don't know where to launch from that'll let me utilize it. Ruins elevator, lower gate. Please go up. I, I'm not understanding. What do you mean by a jump point? No time to celebrate. Uh, most people don't when it comes to this game. Don't feel bad. Okay. Oh, the, the little chocobo launcher things. Okay, now I know what you're talking about so I can look, I can actually look for them. Yeah, it's a place where you can take off with a chocobo. I do want to at least get to this one so I can get it on my fast travel. Oh, here's another one. There's no way I would have flown into this one. Okay. Let's call the chocobos up here. There we go. Come on, buddy. This is why the army of birds has been following me. Okay. From where you use the air to lift off, so there. Alright, yeah, there was no way I was going to make that balloon from there, but at least I've got it on my fast travel thing now. Okay. No, 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 no. Stop taking off. You're talking about the... Oh! Hold on. Uh, 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 uh. Don't want to fight them right now. You want me to use that? Or a different one? Referring to this? That's a spot. Okay, there's that. And. Oh, uh, the one up there. I don't think I've been up there, have I? No, I haven't. I'll have to figure a way up there, but even with that height, it's still not enough to make it all the way over here. I'm just going to take the chocobo up to it and see if it does something.
Okay. get it I, I know what you're saying and you might be right but like there's no way like that other one I found there's no way you're flying in on top of that That's Corel. Excuse me a moment. Yes, that is exactly what I did. The objective is not the green shining thing. It's these three in the back. Yuffie! Nile! Hulk! Billy Bob! Billy Bob? It's so good to see you! You too! We were worried you might not have made it out in time. Nothing can kill this bloom. <laughs> Clearly. Hmm. Say, where's Sonon? Um... Yeah. Hey, you three! <gasps> the Splinter Cell. W where are my manners? These guys are from Avalanche HQ. They're the ones who helped me out back in Midgar. Oh, they are, are they? They need an introduction. Y'all were at the Shinra building, weren't you? Tell me. Was Wedge with you? Or did you see him? <sighs> if you can tell me anything, anything at all, Please. Wedge, he... I'm sorry. Don't be. Just... I need to know. After the Sector 7 plate fell, the things we saw and heard... All the carnage... It was... Hell. We wanted to help. We really did. But how? It all seemed... So hopeless. That's when the call came. From the folks at Avalanche HQ. We learned it was the company that dropped the plate. And that they were gonna drop another. Unless we stopped them. HQ needed volunteers. To help storm the Shinra building. This was our chance. We knew it was the right thing to do. All of us. Wedge and I ended Whoa. up being assigned to the same truck. <sighs> we'll infiltrate the building via the underground parking facility. From there, we make our way up, taking each and every floor. Hmm. We've lost contact with Lucia's team. <sighs> I think we have to assume they're all... That's enough. First... That sandwich looks really good. On it. Let me just scooch on over here. I'm Wedge with the Splinter Cell. Uh, Barrett's crew, right? Mm -hmm. Here, try one of these. It'll help you calm down. Thank you. Could have Go just on. reached yeah. across the way and handed it to him, but all right. Our team was heading upstairs to take out the president. I know what you're thinking. Avalanche doesn't do that. But when the plate fell, the rules changed. Come on, man. 
Get the lead out. Don't want to be uh, left behind. Hey, thanks for the assist. You are what we call a liability. Evening fix, how are you? We're gonna take back our world. Find the bastards who stole it and send him to hell. Yeah! Yeah, you got it, Cab. I've got friends up there who need to know we're coming. Oh, uh, uh, sorry, but I didn't want them to get hurt, sir. Who's this dude? <laughs> Go, I'll catch up. Right. We were all fired up, ready to fight. Hey man, if you can't take the heat, get out of the combat zone. Wait, the whispers killed him? I couldn't believe it. It was him. thought you heard, but it was probably just the wind. What? In times past, the Cetricure... Where'd that comment come from? ...thanks to the life stream. There aren't many left, so we wanted to help preserve the few still standing. It felt like the least we could do, you know? For all those who returned to the planet. No, hey, I did not. Why don't we give him a hand? Wasn't that like years ago that he got kicked off? Is there anything we can do for you? I don't know. Restore the planetary fonts? They're this region's main source of energy. And kind of like relief valves for the life stream. But when they're as busted as this one here, you can't even get close to do repairs. Mako's Ooh. way too dense. Oof. So we figured we'd Oof. use a probe. Fix the fonts remotely. Thing is, little guys no, I had not heard a thing about this. With us. Perhaps I can be of service? Robotics is one of my areas of expertise. Meet Robot Chadley. <laughs> or Robo Chad, if you prefer something abridged. At any rate, you should now have complete control over him. Dang. Go on, ask him to do something. Robo Chadley. Kill Chadley. He's no BD1, but he is kind of cute. Gears and Gambits. You must program the robots with Gambits and Actions, then send them into battle. Oh good, another minigame. Three types of robot can be deployed, operating in accordance with gambits and actions which are programmed prior to battle. Gambits determine a target, actions determine what the robot will do. Okay. Use the AI set by Chadley, press this to begin. A oh, weak to an element. Just priority. Okay. Interesting. Oh, and it tells you who the target is and what their affinities are. Okay, cool. 
I like this. This is kind of reminiscent of uh, Final Fantasy twelve. And we'll move along their lane towards the enemy leader in the center. Try to deploy robots that can exploit these vulnerabilities. Okay. Okay, let's deploy you. Once it's deployed, you can... <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be fighting Raven again soon. Oh, I know you're talking about... Uh... presence in a lane. Okay. I know you're talking about Elden Ring. Okay, affinity. This is taking too long. I'm gonna miss the farmer's market. So this is kind of reminiscent of the, uh, some foes have advanced actions. Yep, I saw that. And I can't do that yet. Now I can. Special ability shared between your portals. Oh, cool. Why? Why can, can I not move this? Okay, thank you. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Uh, three porters share an HP gauge. Okay. So I need someone who will do fire. Yes, I know. Thank you. I'm just going to keep deploying robots and just zerg him. Okay. Not a fan of that. What? No. No healing yourself is allowed. Okay, getting overwhelmed. Why can't I use any portal skills? Um. I need this to go faster, faster, faster. deploy a robot here, weak to lightning. Bam. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Nope. Alright. You've got fire. Bam. I'm gonna lose.
Okay, that sucked. Uh, let's do this. And I'm not really going to have time for anything else. Oh, that was close. Okay. It's an interesting little mini game. A little res reminiscent of Fort Condor, though. Wow. It's a shame the others ain't here to see this. Who says they're not? <sighs> What's that? It's pointing us to the next one, Parrot. I believe that light will lead us to another set of ruins. Duh. <laughs> and another font to fix, too, I'll bet. Is it okay if we tag along? Sure, why not? Yeah, sure, you're not Whatever killjoys at all. With you HQ kids, the planet's welfare takes priority. Good. Hopefully, I've already reached a point where I can get there. Is this one nice and high up? Yes, it is. Alright. We'll hit this. Although, if it is anything like the Fort Condor minigame, the last one's going to be really freaking difficult. Can I get in the... No. No, no, no. Nice try, doofus. Like, they're just going to be like, Oh, look, you're right there at the door. Easy peasy. No problem. Says thou art screwed. To house something alien. Precisely what is unclear. I remember hearing about this growing up. You don't think they were talking about the Still key, not used you? to that being his voice. Perhaps. But the energy <laughs> signature would suggest otherwise. Given that it so strongly resembles that of a proto relic, I surmise these structures were designed to contain one. For now, let's continue to restore them. I'm sure we'll find something within. The planet itself is guiding us. I've also developed an additional AI chip for RoboChat. Hopefully, it expedites our work. All right. Let's do it. Is it going to let me actually do the configuration this time? Alright, with gambits and actions. Gambits determine a target, actions determine what they'll do. Okay, yep, yep, yep. Reference the information on enemy units before programming your robots. Okay. Alright, what do we got? Uh, cautious courage, attack power, and defense. That's not bad. Um, and uses potent attack when several robots are deployed in a single lane or when attacked by several robots. That sounds familiar. Assess any marshmallows that appear. Alright, what can we do with these? Yeah, I know. Thank you. Target foes, allies, or itself. Separate gambits for both nearby and far away foes. 
Oh, cool. So what are my available actions? Plan ahead when choosing... Okay, so do I have to choose something first? I do. Okay. So we'll do... I'm going to add Cure to each of these guys. And make it... Do they do them in order? Change order. Yeah, they'll always heal themselves first. It's not what I meant to do. Confirm. Weak to an element. And then we'll do... What else? What's the difference between elemental weakness priority and foe weak to an element? Targets them or prioritizes them? Like, what's the difference? Oh, and I see... Oh, okay. And the, the actions I add make them more expensive to call. Okay. Wait. Okay, and these are just buffs. Self. Okay, and let's do... Self. And we'll do... Barrier. So we're using the same ones, but we've got some healing and defensive type abilities added to them. Let's try that and see how it goes. I wasn't anticipating they were going to hit me with two of them right away. Okay. And we'll put one here. So I have a feeling that going with like preemptive deployments is not the way to go. I'm going to restart this. So I just need to keep an eye out for where where he's deploying and just immediately deploy weaknesses. Uh, phase shift, switch and spawn. War robots present in a lane currently targeted by foes. Okay. I can afford to deploy an extra now. He's going to get pissed as soon as this first flan goes down. Because now he's being targeted by five plus robots. There it is. Hey, 
And let's go ahead and preemptively deploy something here. Yeah, this isn't too bad. I kind of like it, actually. Whoa! Okay, come on, guys. He's getting kind of pissed. Attack power and defense, please. Severe pummeling. That doesn't sound good. Um, it sucks that you can only deploy each ability once. Oof. Got him. It's a decent minigame. I like it. We all talked about coming out to see the canyon one day. That night at the bar, remember? Yeah. You guys were trying some new cocktails for me. Yep, this is the one. Oh, Jesse. Thirsty, thirsty girl. <laughs> I'm cutting you off. <laughs> Come on, one more couldn't hurt. Now me, I'm a Cosmo Canyon guy. Mm, that one was pretty good, but it was missing that special flourish. Guess what I got? Huh? Ta-da! Cosmo Salt! Can't call it a Cosmo Canyon without a touch of local flavor, right? Trust me. Salt in a cocktail? All the difference. What's Cosmo about it? It's mined from the canyon itself, the birthplace of planetology, and pretty hard to come by, I'll have you know. Oh my god. Yeah, but that you can grind really salt too. Something. You're so blitzed, you can't taste anything. You're right. Wow. It's like a whole new drink. Man, it's too bad the stuff is so hard to come by. If only I had more. I thought you might say that. But up the whole store so you can keep on mixing. But those will only last us so long. Especially if this Cosmo Canyon becomes a hit. Gonna need to stock up. In that case, what about a trip to the source, huh? We could all bring back as much salt as we could carry. What do you say? All you have to do is visit Perm Stream. He's got all the salt you need. It's gonna be great. Oh, really? Huh? Y'all think we got money to be taking field trips? Because our books say otherwise. Here. Shit, we gotta go. <laughs> there you have it. The boss himself said it's a to you. To our generous leader. I like the delivery of that one. Honestly, y'all are just too much. <laughs> Look, guys, we made it. 
would have liked to have gotten here sooner, but... And with more of the team alive. Wait, you fixed it already? Ages ago, slow folks. Come on, double time. Coming. The mini game's nothing to write home about, but I'm actually enjoying the side story of it. I. Mini games are all this game's got. This is like mini, this is like a mini game story with like or a mini game game with stories wrapped around it. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. Yeah, I need to do that from this one which one's highest up? That's the that's the one. So glad I did all this crap off offline. Are you kidding? You could probably get through this game in like 20 hours if you avoided all the side activities. It, it's part of a struggle that I have in terms of like... I actually do enjoy some of the minigames. I feel they overdo them. If I was a hundred, if I was going a hundred percent complete this game, it would drive me mad. Oh, but when I first looked up the proto relic, when I couldn't figure out how to activate that one, no. Um. Um. <laughs> I basically had to go to someone's VOD because I couldn't get explanations from anyone about what I, where I was supposed to go. They just kept talking about the minigame. Um, and the guy whose VOD I looked up, Yuffie was driving him crazy too. <laughs> Robot? Smart ideas? <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. I've prepared an additional AI chip. It should allow you to progress further. Just mind the monsters. All right. Here we go again. A fifth AI slot. Airborne foe priority. Okay. So now... What's this do? Targets airborne foes prioritizes. I, this priority thing makes no sense. That grounds airborne targets. So let's put that up higher. And I'm going to try and add that to the others as well, if I can. I feel like I want to just bring them down to the ground so the rest of the robots can deal with them. Maybe I'm just... 
thinking too simply. Okay. Let's see what this does. Uh, any all weaknesses? Oh! Okay. Phase shift ice. Last time, not to get greedy and are you going to deploy another one? There it is. I think I screwed up on this one. No, I didn't. for that. Hold on. I'm just going to let Chadley program these dang things. Uh, whatever. Baldy, pass me a sensor bean. What, do you think I'm just giving these away? Because I'm not. I don't know what to do about these, like, big brute ones. Optimize for this stage. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, they can heal allies. So this one's a healer now. Interesting. Okay, I'm down with it. Carolina Reaper. Why is it not targeting the stupid thing? Ah. <coughs> uh. Ha. Huh.
Okay. And now. Alright, they'll battle this last brute while we finish taking off the boss. Or taking out the boss. I will say... Well, we'll talk about this in a moment. Good to go. Man, we really are dead weight, aren't we? Just slowing you down. Blessings of the planet be upon you. <laughs> <laughs> and what about you, my dear child? What truth have you to tell us this night? Really, guys? Me? You, a resident gourmand. Come on, let's hear it. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I guess... Uh, Can't hear you. The, the truth is... I love you guys! The truth is, I just want to do more for you guys. I'm sick of feeling like dead weight around here. I just, I... For the love of God, not this again. Come on, out with it. Which one of us said that? Was it me, Biggs, or was it? <gasps> no, nobody said anything, honest. But you never would. Oh, you're one of I these guys. You really think she's too nice? I'm nice to those who deserve it. <laughs> See? <laughs> what did I tell you? <laughs> Uncle! Uncle! <laughs> Seriously, we wouldn't be here without you. Huh. Was always down on himself, even though he shouldn't have been. Wedge worked harder than any of us. That's just who he was. Always trying to do better. Yeah. <laughs> that guy. If only he'd stuck to looking after his cats and enjoying good food. Let's go. All right, one more to go. Oh, yeah. Don't go anywhere, Cloud. I'm not done yapping at you yet. Oh, Chadley's not going to interrupt me this time? I'm surprised. So this was the first one we found when we were trying to get to the others. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're already here. Almost took off. Taxes. All right. Advanced actions such as augmentation plus and shock plus. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna let the game take control of all that. Sure, sounds great. Null a mental field.
Sure, that sounds cool. much they cost 14 dang uh oh some of the other robots got taken out let's add this one be ready for whatever comes from this one. Or this one. And come on, 15! Why is he ignoring it? Don't ignore the stupid thing. All right. Heal those fools next to the thing. do it from this one. Okay. Things are falling apart here. job. There is no way. This isn't going to work. There is one thing that I actually really appreciate about a lot of these mini games is that they possess a little button down here. Lower the difficulty. And the game doesn't penalize you for using it. So, this is an interesting concept, but I don't find it particularly engaging. Let's just get past it. Yes, but it's cheese that the game provides. Uh, 
Let's do you, because you'll heal. And then I'm going to want a healer on this lane, too. Save it. Save it for when a bunch of the bad dudes come out. Like that dude. I'm going to let him land and then heal. I know I'm going to lose one robot. Or three. Oh, he's airborne. That's why they're not targeting it. Bring that dude down. bringing that, that airborne one down. I mean, whatevs. I'll take it. If he's just gonna not do anything, that's fine. Thank you. I was like, we're getting overwhelmed. Just target the boss. Man, I'm glad I leveled that down. That would have been a pain in the butt. Another shin guard for you. Sorry, Data, you're not human. Well, yeah. Why wouldn't you? Oh. What's that? A gift Wedge left behind for us. Listen, I just... Uh, and I want to say thanks. You all being here... It helped. Oh, we... we didn't really do anything. No, you didn't. Now that the ruins are fixed, what's next? Actually, I was wondering if maybe... we could... join up with you guys? Wait, you can't be serious. Sorry, Max Galactica, no room we on the team. Jack from HQ, but these guys are out there making a difference. I know, but... What do you say? We'd be happy to tag along if, uh... And who the hell said you could? People not willing to die for the cause got no place with us. Whoa! Uh, I'm sorry. 
I just thought that... Your hearts are in the right place. But y'all... Y'all got a different path to walk. One that's... All your own. I mean, I don't disagree with him, but man, he came on a little strong in that last statement. Man, I can't eat another bite. <clears throat> I suppose it's time for yours truly to say his piece. Here it comes. I'm a man of few words. May the Any questions? Your words. And keep them brief while she's at it. <laughs> <clears throat> So, the five of us here all came together because we wanted to save this planet of ours. Ain't made much money. Ain't made a lot of friends either. <laughs> in other words, we the suck. One thing we do have deep in our hearts is a passion. A fire that burns for the cause. That won't stop burning until Shinra goes up in smoke. You're not wrong, but... Easy. But I ain't stopping. Because even if it costs me my life, I'm uh, taking down Shinra uh, and taking back our planet. So if you got the guts, then come with me. Uh, uh, we're, uh, huh? Uh, huh? I'm hungry after all for justice. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm in. My man. I have never oh, once grabbed my it? stomach to indicate how Keep dedicated I am to the cause. Around. <laughs> Unless the cause was to eat more than I should. Tifa. Hmm? This isn't what they want for us. Now, I'm not saying we should forget about it. <laughs> no way I ever could. But you and me, we gotta stop living in guilt and regret. You're the one living in guilt and regret. Don't drag Tifa down with you. Like, don't make this our problem. This is your problem. That's a sweet gesture, though. Hmm. not wasted. Come on, y'all. Glad you're feeling better. <laughs> hey, wait. Forgot this. Here. All right. The region's intel is completed. Again. Whoa! Just give it up. The proto relic staying with me. Ha! Silence! You caught me unawares once, but it will not happen again. Burning desire to reclaim my stolen prize rages evermore. That which you have taken shall be returned. Um. Okay. Uh, didn't see this coming. Oh, Cloud doesn't have cure on him. 
he pressured himself. Come on. Ah! I literally backed away and tried to shoot him with Eve's gun. Feeling good. I am outmatched. Oh, is that what we're building? The Genji gloves? That blade you wield. Oh, the mere sight of it has kindled in me a covetous desire. Could it be that hunger for weapons brought me hither? Wherefore does the memory elude me? Return what you have stolen! My Genji! Give it back! Cartel! Little too clumsy, buddy. Stand and deliver! I'm yours! I say. Let it go. Uh, not until you return what is mine. Uh, uh. Only then shall I rest. Only then shall you know peace, but not until that day. <laughs> what a stoic exit that was. So I really need to put a healing material on Cloud. Fascinating. I believe I understand the situation. All this time, he was seeking the proto-relics in order to restore his lost memories and make himself whole. Guess Instead, so. I've been stealing them Wait. out of greed. So what exactly are the proto-relics? It is, of course, too early to say anything for certain. But I suspect they may be some manner of armaments formed from matter not normally present in this dimension. If we assume the giant was also from another dimension, then there is a possibility that he was the original owner of the proto-relics. Wait, so if they are his, does that mean we should give them back? Given the phenomena he has been able to conjure in this dimension without the proto-relics on hand, I shudder to think what havoc he might wreak were his powers fully restored. It might be prudent for us to gather a bit more information on the proto-relics before we decide to return them. For now, I propose that we retrieve the artifacts and perform a thorough analysis. So that I may have that power. Adjustments to his game that offer an increased challenge? No, thank you. All right. Excuse me for a moment, please. I'll be right back. All right, I am back. Let's start clearing out some of these side quests. Uh... 
Photograph celestial phenomena. All right, let's do that. Hopefully this is of the right elevation. Always got to worry about elevation on these stupid things. Oh. Except for this guy, and he doesn't look happy. I think I've already fought one of these things. I got your number. Da, 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 da. Dealing up to actually pressure them. Okay. Alright, Ski Ski's gotta go first. Ow. They get pissy if you leave them alive too long. He's weak to ice, right? Pick up Cloud. What keeps hitting me? What the crap is going on? Let me get a prey off before someone dies. Thank you. That was rough. I honestly thought I was going to die there. Um, what? Hold on. Oh, view the next one. No. There we go. Okay. So it looks like it's got a shot of the whole hill without... Yeah, this should do. What? Sneak a photo of Aerith? Sure. Uh, zoom... to 75 I saw 80 show up there oh this is so fidgety like they don't acknowledge like small
I'm just gonna take this one. It's not bad, but there's room for improvement. Thank you, Earth. Okay, two down. Just one more left. Let's go. And of course, before we do that, we're gonna rest at the freaking Chocobo stop before I die again. That scorpion was not screwing around. In case I forgot to say goodbye, have a good night, Rocket. I doubt you're still here, but get some rest. I think I'm gonna go up here. Uh, I didn't mean to do it on Chocobo. Gotta get up there. And we're back to this all over again. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a chocobo across to the ruins again and see if I can find a way to get get to that from up here. Just straight across. Nobody cares, Sean. Alright, I'll go the rest of the way on foot. I've always found Chocobo travel to be a little clunky. I don't want to fight you. Bye. How do I get up there? Oh, okay. Hold on. Nope. Don't need to fight them again. Thank you. Bye. Okay. One here too. Uh, Chocobo, there you are. Out of our way. to block that, not dodge it. Hit him with some ice. And then hit him with fire. Instant stagger. snuck a shot of me earlier uh oh nothing sneaky about it is that so <laughs> hey let's get a selfie together okay Come what here. with a polaroid <laughs> oh perfect 
perfect. Aerith. Hmm? Uh, nothing. Let's take the photo and go. Sure. Sounds good. Well, that wasn't awkward at all. Where is it? Wait, what? Oh, okay. Alright, what's the photo look like? Oops. Um, let's see. What's it say if I take a photo here? No, not this photo. <sighs> Maybe try another angle? I meant to zoom, dang it. Further back, maybe? I really wish that this respected, like, fine movements of the stick. Let's do... Slightly different angle. I'd like to get it in the 70s if I can. is even worse. This is way worse. Whoa! 68. Oh, I saw a 70 show up there somewhere. Okay. I didn't know it could turn green. Wow, it looks exactly like the photo they gave us. Guess we gotta get these back to Caesar, huh? Render unto Caesar what is Caesar's. All right, let's see what's back here. Wait, there's a gate. How are we supposed to get past it? Or is there another entrance? Oh, 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 oh. Ah, it's okay for me. You'll need a key. It slipped my mind. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be at home. Now, there's no need to make such a fuss. I simply wish to see this with my own eyes. I don't remember what this quest is. What, do you use the key on just some bamboo? Oh, it's a life spring. Or a dead one. What is that? It would appear oh, the, the Mako frequency thing. Withered. You have the Mako meter. Yeah. Five, eight. Not looking good. This thing isn't picking up much. Hmm. I see. But it's still too soon to draw any the PKI meteor isn't picking up any ghosts. Shall we? we may yet get encouraging results. Go on ahead. I will catch up to you when I am ready. Why isn't Yuffie trying to steal that materia? Port to Caesar, measure the Mako frequency. What? Whoa! Don't want to see the whole world right now. Thank you. Oh. Is this... Okay, I guess we're going back to Cosmo Canyon. Just to get lost. 
No, this isn't what I wanted. This place is so confusing to get around. And of course, you can't get to Caesar from here, even though it's in this direction. He's on a different elevation or something. Take an elevator and see if we can find him upstairs, I guess. I don't remember the original Cosmo Canyon and whether it was this difficult to get around it. But man, this is annoying. Oh, yay, a store. Okay, so we can tell Caesar we took one good photograph and one decent one and one terrible one. Very well. There you go. The falling stars have indeed revealed themselves to us. Hmm. Though there are some obvious inconsistencies, I suppose these. You want it done right, do it yourself. For our purposes. A deck of tarot cards? As always, our planet is as strong as she is beautiful. No matter the calamity. We have no reason whatsoever to fear for her demise. Interesting. It appears that there are more comets than were previously observed. Perhaps this is a sign that our planet has, in fact, grown more robust. Yes, surely it is. And if we take note of their positioning and connect each with lines, just so... We get a strange three-dimensional shape. An unprecedented configuration. Hey, what did you wish for? Hmm? Well, only what anyone else would. I just asked the stars to protect us from harm. Right. Of course. That face you made earlier, what was that about? I don't know what you mean. Guess the shooting stars have said their piece. What? The crap are you talking about? A seminar is in progress. Wait. Hmm? Can I just take this straight up to Bugenhagen's thing? Blessings of the planet be upon you. Yeah, blah blah blah. blah. Shut up. Guidance? Don't care. She said seems so much clearer to me now. Uh I know what you mean. The observatory. Yes. Alright, Dr. Doodle. How am I supposed to get to... Huh? Is this not in the observatory? Head to the second and third life springs. Where are they? All right, no markers on the map is really going to piss me off. How am I supposed to know where they are? Well, I know how I'm going to find out where they are. 
This is BS. Okay. Uh, oh, he gave me a map. He did? How am I supposed to find it? Oh, okay. Huh? Whatever, I'm looking this crap up. Supposed to be somewhere along this way. Barricade? What? And of course, although these chocobos can fly, they can't just take off from anywhere, because that would be too convenient. man anytime someone's just like oh my gosh man this is like the best game ever i swear they're huffing fumes i love i love me some ff7 but like this kind of stuff it's too much man Things didn't even have a chance. That was excellent work. Oh, I forgot to need a key again. Well, this doesn't look good. Ten. No. Four hundred? The meter's going crazy. What's a GZ anyway? How do you even read this? GZ stands for Geisel, his first name. Bugenhagen was the first person to discover that the life stream emits energy we can measure. Oh. <clears throat> but that's not worth mention. More importantly, our work remains unfinished. We'd best get on with it while we still have the light. Wait. Oh, that's if I hadn't analyzed it yet. Okay. Alright. I know I started late and I'm sorry, but we are going to be calling it a night there. <laughs>